Well, this is Deagle.com and I just want to uh, clear something up. Deagle.com, as you can see here, is a military equipment and civil aviation website. And in um, 2017, they gave population forecasts for both increases and reduction in populaces across the entire earth, as, as in winners and losers, if you like. Um, economic collapse, they also forecast, leading to shortages in food, in, in jobs, cash and migration issues, all playing their part in each country's either building up or destruction. But the main thing about this site was the depopulation figures, as we'll get to in a minute. And when you look at the USA, so we find Deagle.com here. You type into your uh, browser search engine, deagle.com population. And all this comes up, yeah? And then you get all these countries. As you can see, the Netherlands, Cambodia, Guatemala, Ecuador, Australia. Um, but if we click on Australia here, You can see that in 2017, we had a populace of 23 million. And then when we scroll down to the forecast for 2025, you can see the population has dropped quite considerably. And this is reliable military information from the 20 odd million down to the 15 million, yeah? That's just Australia. So let's just flick back to the heading of Deagle.com there. When you look at the, US, the USA, uh, the figures are quite startling. So the first thing we need to do is to get onto page one. And I'll show you the, pig, the figures, the depopulation figures for the United States of America here. Yeah? And this is quite shocking, yeah? Remember these, anyway, what you have to do is you have to bring the cursor up till it turns black, then go on to the name of the selected country, and when the finger points up, click. So we see the 327 million populace in the USA in 2017, on this site here with America, and then we scroll down to what's expected for 2025. And you can see there the populace. 2025, massive drop to just 100 million. And, and it's quite startling to me. People, um, and when you look on some of the other sites, some of the populations have shot up. And Eagle predict that some depopulations will be through migration, will be people that came to the UK, say, and then went back because of some catastrophic event where the economies collapsed, the monetary systems collapsed and these people disappeared. But when you look at the United States there, there's no way. Let's get back to page three. I'll show you the UK in a moment. There's no way that 200 million people did a runner. Just Them figures just do not stack up. So there's definitely something nefarious. You can clearly see mass populace reductions. And common sense should tell you, you know, that 200 million people are not just suddenly going to do a runner in the next four years. It's just not. It's a massive figure of people's to disappear, especially by migration alone. So we know that there's something nefarious, nefarious afoot. And then you take a look at the UK figures. So we're on page three on this now. So we'll find the United Kingdom, which is here. So you go up until it turns black, click on the yellow, United Kingdom to the finger comes up. The population in 2017 was 66 million, going upwards of 70 million. We're in 2019 now, and the forecast 
is quite dramatic. The drop to 15 million from 66, from nearly 70 million. Yeah, and this figure has to be achieved by 2025. And this is a bona fide site. No one questions this. Well, there's no way that 55 million people in the UK are going to disappear. Simply migratory, migratory, yeah? It just isn't going to happen. So what have these elitists got in store as regards depopulation? Because they're not going home, they're not. These people have feathered their nests here in the UK. So we've got to seriously question what will cause the depopulation. Because the calculated military figures were not just plucked from thin air. These figures here of 15 million there. That, you see the red arrow going down, the reduction for 2025 20, there. We flick back up to 2017 here. And we see that 66 million when it's they reckon it's now closer to 70 million that reside in the UK and this is deagle.com for the UK you can check with every country some figures actually go up some figures stay the same but the majority of countries the populace takes a dip and some of them take a fucking nosedive that you would not think possible and then you have these um, the Georgia guide stones when you type them into your search engine and carved on these stones, these monuments, in almost every single language, are the words um, of exactly what they've got planned and calculated for us, which is a reduction of over 95% of all living beings. And those alive will then be kept in this fake, supposed, man-made perpetual balance with some nature they will have at that time, yeah? So 95% reduction of the world's populace, and, and the ones that survive will be kept in a perpetual balance with nature. Their, 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 their reproduction skills will be severely restricted and ampered. It tells you on the Georgia Guidestones, yeah? And not so long ago, you've got to remember, yeah, Prince Charles, Prince William, and other notable royals, and the, the likes of David Attenborough, and Prince Philip, we're all telling us that we've got to get the populace down as too many people on this earth. And the number of people I personally know myself that have said the same thing, especially when it comes to getting rid of the African populace. The Africans are the blight, people have always told me and I've always said, well, if there's going to be a population reduction, you are calling for it. You must be first in the queue. And these people have been fucking shouting their spiel for years. And you've got one minute Bill Gates tells us the same thing. That if he does a real good job through vaccines, he can get the populist figures down. The very same bloke that was now telling us that we should stay at home because he wants to keep us alive. Yeah, the contradiction there is fucking unbelievable. And we've had pop stars and movie stars all spouting the same shit about population reduction. And they've been doing this for years, especially people like Leonardo DiCaprio. And then all of a sudden, the uh, this pandemic card is played. It's pulled out and fucking out of the pack and thrown down on the table. Yeah, the hand is dealt, and it's been fucking thrown our way. And all these celebs and royals have now come out in droves, smiling and seemingly to fucking tell us to stay safe, stay home. Because we're all in it together. Yeah, the fucking cheek of it. When you think about that fucking statement. Yeah. Take a look at that. 66 million people in the UK. Yeah. 66 million. Let me flick back down to it. You can go on this site and find this. Yeah. And then there will be a reduction. Down. There's a red arrow going down there. To 15 million. Yeah. The gross domestic product will be down. 197 billion from I think it's about 2 trillion it, it was two, there you are 2.6 trillion was our gross domestic product in 2017 and then it drops to 197 
billion. From trillions to billions, yeah? From 66 million there down to 15 million. In five years fucking time, four years from now really, these people are spouting this shit. And people like me are now the last official voices of truth. And we did warn that this was coming. We warned for years. I've been screaming and shouting about it. Others have. And there's a massive lack in urgency from anyone to help us to get this stopped from the military, from anyone that supposedly got any power or any clout. No one is interested. Even though they all know the majority of the military know that this is coming, they are preparing for it. I've been told recently that the military in the UK have been packing millions in in the lockdown now they've been packing millions and millions of ration packs ration packs think about that think about war and rations and they've been packing these fucking stuff and they have it on good authority so you've got the people that continually laughed mocked and scoffed are the ones that i now hate to tell and to say the words that uh, we told you fucking so because we did and those of you who tell me I'm wrong about being about this, there being a second lockdown, yeah? Well, I've got news for you, it's coming. And you'll see it. You'll see it soon enough. So go and put that in your e-pipe and chalk it. Kid you not, look at it. 66 million, 2017, down to 15 million, yeah? And people still tell me, oh, it's all right. When you read down at the bottom, it tells you that it's through migration. Is it fuck? Migration, if anything, will play a tiny, tiny part. Where's this 55 fucking million people going to migrate to in such a short time? Take a look and puke. Kid you not.